welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson 32G, and this is just going to be a uh, kind of a quick follow-up lesson. Uh, when we uh, built this app, uh, one thing I mentioned is that in order for this to uh, work on anyone's tablet, or if you do it for a phone on a phone, uh, accessibility has to be granted. It has to be turned on in accessibility settings. Um, of course, you can tell the person that uh, uh, when you give it to them, uh, but to make it more like a real app uh, and or if you wanted to distribute it to a lot of different people, it'd be better to include uh, uh, that message in this as well as a shortcut to get to those settings. So we're going to uh, long press right here. We're going to add text. I'm going to go here. And we're going to type uh, message warning. You must set accessibility for this app to. on for it to work. Press, press button to the right to go to accessibility settings now. We're going to make that 20. Um, we'll leave it white. All right, so uh, that's pretty good. I think I'll probably Pull it over here. I'm gonna make it hit the move button. That'll give me the ability to make it a little bit bigger. Make sure that they see it. Um, if you wanted to, you might could make it red. Let's go in here, pick a red color. So it really kind of stands out. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. I like the way that looks. Um, now we're going to go to normal. I'm going to press right here. And I'm going to use the button, which we didn't use before. Remember, we created our own uh, our own uh, buttons using uh, text before for the uh, other scenes. So I'm going to use button just so we can see what that looks like. Uh, label. I don't know what to put for this label. Accessibility seems rather long. Uh, I'm just going to put go, since the warning label kind of says what it is. That way I don't have to you know, make too big of a button to write all that out. Uh, label color. You can also have an icon, you see, so you can create an icon like in uh, Adobe uh, or whatever graphic software you want to use, and you could use that. Um, which is maybe more when you would want to use the button because uh, when you're just doing text it really is better probably just to use the text. Let's see. Let's make this red too. And you see it's just a uh, uh, it just gives it this sort of that same grayish shade as like the off buttons have. 
Um, can maybe move that a little bit closer. And then let's go to normal. And let's make the go bigger. All right, so that's good. Now what we want to do is we want to make it do something. So I'm going to click tap, and we're going to give it an activity. We're going to choose uh, settings, and then we're going to choose accessibility settings. I'm going to go back. And that's really it. Um, you do that, and now when they open the app, they have this big warning down at the bottom that lets them know they need to uh, uh, turn accessibility on. So let's uh, just see what that does. Uh, we can do that by running this. So that's what it looks like when you bring it up, at least on my uh, tablet. And then if I click go, it opens me right up to accessibility. And you can see the uh, services there. You can see that class is on. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could, of course, put more instructions uh, about, you know, that. You could put it, make it a little bit more detailed. You could say, you know, go to accessibility, look for this app name, tap it, turn it on, etc., etc. You could even just put a warning and say, click here for more info. And when they click that, it opens up a new scene. And that scene has more specific instructions with a button to go to accessibility. It's up, you know, whatever you would think would be best for the app you're creating or for the person or people you're going to be giving it to, how much instructions they need. But I just want to show that's, you know, it gives it more of an actual, you know, app feeling uh, to have uh, that information be part of the app itself. Um, and this, and this is a little off-centered. I'd probably move this over, and the go button would be kind of over here because right now it's a like big dead spot over here. Um, those are nitpicky things that you can work on on your own to get to whatever app you're creating, which may be totally different than this uh, this one we created, but you just use those principles to create your own stuff, and you can set it up the way you like it. Anyway, that's it, and uh, that is for sure the very end, the last of Lesson 32, uh, uh, an app for mom. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot in this lesson. We covered a lot of different things, some of it we've done before, but just putting it together in different ways uh, you know, doing projects like this is really the best way to learn Tasker. Think of something you want to do and then figure out how to do it. Anyway, uh, click that like button, head over to my channel, subscribe to my channel, favorite the playlist, um, share this with anyone you know on Google Plus or any of those other ways that are down there. And uh, that is about it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.